Hello you guys, it's Michelle Lottie and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we are back with some more Planet Zoo in the Maasai Zoo in our franchise series, which is super, super exciting. We are here, we are, oh, we are in a habitat. Oh Jesus, okay, I'm glad I accidentally did this because this habitat is looking a, a bit bashed up and I think these are the wild dogs, right? The African wild dogs and we definitely don't want those escaping. Uh, but welcome back everyone. We are back with our Maasai Zoo in our franchise series here on this channel. Um, and yeah, back to another 30 minutes or so uncut of just playing some Planet Zoo, which I am actually looking forward to a lot. Um, so yeah, let's get our zoo going. So where we left off last time, I know we were doing a lot of redesigning of our guest facility. So we've done the gold casoda, we've done the cheap beef. Oh dear, we have some lovely stressed animals. I mean, am I surprised? No, I'm not because we have an all glass habitat. So one thing I have noticed about my building style in Planet Zoo is I tend to make everything glass. I don't know what it is. I just don't use normal materials and create windows. And so I think I wanna change that just to make the zoo look a little bit nicer. So what I am going to do is I'm going to change this barrier a little bit and we are going to make it a lot less open and then I think in general that's going to reduce our spring box stress because our gazelles and spring box honestly get um what you call it stress the most so we should change that um the materials we have at the moment is null which isn't good because that's where a barrier isn't needed and we definitely need ones here so they don't free roam around the zoo there's concrete which i mean i don't think is the nicest i don't think it really suits the style of zoo we're going for either um but i think uh for springbok and stuff they don't climb barriers so we probably could go for something like this that is climbable um the dilap dilapidation rate is that the rate in which it degrades is that what it is is it i don't, I don't even know um but these are like semi still mesh resistance grade no the resistance grade i'm guessing is like the rate in which it could be broken down um and it's quite low for wooden logs obviously which is an ideal brick gabion i think we're gonna go with this for now then uh, i might make it a little bit taller because the two meter barrier looks a little bit small um compared to the height of some of these animals uh, i guess is it i'm gonna pop it up to three meters let's do a central one like this here beautiful uh these signs i think i am going to move to where that is glass because otherwise it doesn't really make sense um to have it there so here we go can we even customize these what you can't even change the colors what i would have made all of these purple it would have been absolutely beautiful right so that's a nice viewing area there then we have these which we're gonna put here absolutely gorgeous put another one over here also this path is so uneven it's kind of strange i don't know if i can fix it i don't know we're gonna make some just small adjustments today i think small adjustments um to make sure this looks nice um we have this this is blocking oh, we don't really want it blocking though do we yes i'm just gonna keep it here you know even though it's kind of blocking a window in itself um i'm still gonna keep it and then i think we're gonna put donation boxes like here here and here i think that's nice uh and we're gonna do a similar thing over here there we go that's not overlapping is it i need to make sure when i move things yep that overlapped educational speaker move we put you back um there we go i also need to make sure these are all evenly spaced because it's an interspecies habitat i need to make sure some are on the gazelle some are on the spring box so we can take this opportunity to check that as well get one of these signs in here um put it here i guess yeah that works cool very nice can do the same with this although this is a strange section i don't really like it path is so strange i actually might should i take this opportunity to change the path maybe a little bit okay right let's oh no that's not what i meant if i move this here and get rid of this oh <gasps> does work oh my gosh hacks major hacks no hacks at all actually don't know what i'm on about also i'm growing not to like the path we chose i feel like it took us a while last time to decide what path we wanted so this is just great that i don't really like it anymore 
<laughs> God damn it. Um, oh, there we go. We can actually fix this up a little bit and make it look a lot closer. Oh, <gasps> this is perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is making me very happy. Oh dear, I did. I did a boo-boo. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. I'm trying to... Oh my lord. I don't know what I've done here. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna... There we go. That works. And then that. And then we can connect the staff path still. Um, but the staff path is like fairly small. Also, one thing I noticed that I've done in the zoo is I've actually made sure the general paths are actually quite wide like not massively wide uh, but if you have quite big paths so these are like six meters in uh, width um, they're quite good for traffic so that um, people can view the animals here because I don't have like little viewing areas per se I want to make more interesting viewing areas I'm always looking to improve my planet zoo building because I think some of it isn't amazing like at all so I want to do a little bit better but we can always try and do that Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is funky. I don't, I don't know what I've, I've done, but some of these paths are janky. Maybe we did the paths and then we built the habitat. <laughs> I think that's what happened because normally these paths snap really nicely. Oh God, these benches are bad. I really want to research better benches because these are just interesting for sure. Um, I guess they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> at all uh but it's fine we're gonna roll with it uh some bins we've got some bins we love to see it recycling bins and normal bins too because we care about the environment do you know what is one thing though when you get the themed bins i don't think you get recycled bins recycling bins um which kind of sucks but apparently that's the way it goes in this okay let's see what these guys think of this Okay, we're gonna hit play. We're gonna see how it goes. I mean, I'm seeing money throwing in, so people are still happy. Is this gonna reduce your... Oh, it is! <gasps> I think they're feeling much better about this because this is super, super significantly less invasive, you know? So, oh my God, this is so wonderful. Yes, I did a big, smart, big brain move. Wonderful, good to hear. Okay, you're, you're doing great, right? B B Bamani? Bomani? Oh, look at you. You're frolicking. You're so... Okay, I'm so... You know what? If that is the one achievement we make in this episode of this series, I am so happy. Oh my god. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, that habitat is semi-fixed. Um, I want to do the same with the African wild dogs. I'm not going to lie with the barriers. So, let's just go ahead and do that. So, we're going to change the whole thing. I think I'm liking this gabion. Um, it is climbable. So we do need to be careful what i can do is i can make it climbable on the left hand side which is the no climb proof or on both sides should we just make it climbable on both sides that feels quite safe there we go perfect okay so now we're gonna put some windows in like let's do these two make a window here maybe maybe another one here actually we're gonna fix the path again because the paths on these are incredibly strange. Um, some windows here, lots of windows through here, and as well. Oh, that I guess. Um, oh, this habitat in general feels like a bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely need to fix it. What I am gonna do is I am gonna hit play though because. Um, don't want to lose any money. Or I want to make money rather. Oh, that's not good. What have I done here? I should be pausing actually. <laughs> there we go. I'm just trying to fix the barriers to be close to the... Oh, but... Plot twist. That's going to be harder to do because we've got two barriers here. If that makes sense. Unless we did something a bit wider. Do we see? Hmm, interesting. So it would be like this. Oh, I don't think this is going to work actually. Is it? No, uh, probably not. Okay, it's fine. We can do thin paths over here. 
Um, yeah, that's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Do you know why this looks super weird? Because I haven't used any round barriers. So with barriers, you actually can make them rounded. Um, the sides. Also, I don't know why I've made so many little panels rather than long ones. I don't know the size I've gone for either, so... This is all super helpful stuff I've done. In retrospect, what have I done? <laughs> right, so what you can do is you can angle it. Wait, can you not do that in franchise mode? <gasps> do I have to learn how to do that? Because that's all. I'm not. Oh, no. No, what? Oh, my God. No, no way. No way. Oh, no. Maybe you can't do perfect barriers. Maybe I was lying to everyone. Who oh dare? Okay. Well, we'll do this anyway. And then, we've got a bigger barrier. Like that. It's closer to the path, which is always nice. Then, we can make this glass. Oh, I don't like this one being glass. I'm not going to make this glass. I'm going to make this glass. And then we have a whole glass section, which just seems like a bit much, actually. So maybe this one isn't glass. Um... I can make it not glass, that is. There we go, okay. Something like this, I think. Why are there vending machines here? I'm just questioning my whole, like, taste level when building this zoo in the first place. Right, uh, I'll let this play, because that's fine. Um, okay, Get some donation boxes in here. Another donation box. Um, oh, I don't know where to put this one. We'll put this here, we'll put this here. And then, oh, oh my god, I thought something bad had happened. I was like, have I left a gap in the barrier and is there an escaped animal on the loose currently? Possibly. Quite possible, honestly. Um, right, get some bins in here. Gotta move these donation boxes. Also, top tip, I found this out recently. You can hit L and you get a little light, which is so handy when you're building at night because building at night is the worst in this game. Um, so, there we go top tips with Charlotte, but also not from Charlotte because I can come up with it. Right, this one, I want the path to go in more. Um, we need it to be smaller though. There we go. No, hang on. I'm underestimating how wide these paths are. There we go. That's much better. Cool. Good. Good talk, Charlotte. Okay, <laughs> let's move this to be central like so and we're gonna get some more donation boxes these wild dogs have a lot of donation boxes and this actually hasn't got that much money so i'm just gonna put one in that feels like a smart idea and then this area there isn't actually like a little viewing area so i don't know why i would not cut off the staff path more maybe because we're gonna build something here i don't know we shall see um but for now i'll leave it like that and we'll see what people think okay um i really want this to snap nicely actually oh there we go that's better um okay cool we're really gonna have to move like the red roughed lemur habitat walls in i think as well if i want this to look good around the path but i guess also at the same time why can't you reach the habitat have i messed up oh because <laughs> oh oh that's why okay cool 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 i'm glad it wasn't something really weird Um, there we go. That's a lot better. <laughs> They're like, it's maybe the work zones. No, Charlotte, you just deleted a really important path. That's what just happened. Oh, mechanical research. Please say this is on barriers. <gasps> Africa theme and barriers. Super exciting. Right, let me have a look. This is when we get one way glass. Oh my God, it is. I ha Happy days, man. Happy days. Right. So now even better, when we make these windows, we can make these one-way glass. And they are beautiful. We can rotate it so that the animals don't see that there are guests looking at them, but um, our wonderful guests can look in and watch our animals, which is wonderful. This is like perfect, especially for like stressy animals like these gazelles and these spring box. Like this is beyond perfect. So, what would we like? One way glass, and then we normally have to rotate it to the left so that it is dark on the inside, but light on the outside. Wonderful, right. Going to do the same with these. There we 
Beautiful. Not quite. There we go. Beautiful. I can hear babies being made. Also, we have a lot of inbreeding that I normally just let happen. In the zoo, I kind of don't want to do that. So we're going to try and prevent that, which means we're going to have to watch when animals breed um, and kind of monitor it and put animals on contraception. Because I think it's better for their genetics if they are born um, without inbreeding, I'm pretty sure. So we are going to work on that. Uh, I didn't even make that one way glass, did I? I did not. That is not good. Right. Nope. There we go. Beautiful. Just a few more. One way glasses. Uh, ba, ba, ba. There we go. Oh no, we have some animal, animal, animal wish issues. What am I even saying? I'm trying to say we have animal issues and I just can't quite hack it because I'm very bad at speaking English, even though it is my first language. I don't want to talk about it. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> right, there we go. Perfect. Uh, oh no, you died. I'm sorry. Why do you have low welfare? Oh my goodness. Social health. Uh, social group is too large. That is all right. I swear there's one of you in here. I swear to God. There's probably... Oh, nope. There's loads of snakes. Um, okay. Oh my God. Yep. Cool. We definitely need to give an eye on our animals in terms of population because that is a lot of snakes. Um, geez. Okay, cool. So, uh, I think we need to release some of the older ones maybe because that seems like a smart-ish idea so we're going to oh we can't release these we have to sell them actually which is interesting wow okay oh but inbreeding these are so very much inbred aren't they okay right let's have a look these all have like very similar stats we'll keep one boy and we're gonna buy a new puff out of girl and we're gonna get it in there I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send all the rest to the trade center. We're gonna go to our trade center, look in our storage, and then we are going to... Do we have to just quick sell them all? I think we might have to. Quick trade. That is a lot of money, so sure, why not? And then we're gonna get another one. So these are like the puff adders? Yes, they are. We said, I said I wanted a girl, didn't I? I got rid of the girl. Okay, we're gonna have to wait. It's fine. We can we'll let this guy live his life on his own. Um, oh, I'm sorry. They'll get in a better condition, I swear. Okay, uh, let's look at these two. Uh, they're both on contraception, which is good. Um, they're young adults. Maybe I should take them off contraception and let them have one baby. But then we'll, we're gonna need to keep an eye on it. Uh, I think they are quite happy though, which is good. No, don't inbreed. What? No, what are you doing? Oh God, this inbreeding situation is not good at all. Okay, we're gonna put you guys on contraception. No, we're gonna put the young ones on contraception. How do I know which ones are the parents? These two are the parents. So you guys get on contraception, I think. Um, and then should we just, we could release some of these dudes because we have a lot of dudes actually. Right, let's release some gazelles, um, because we have a few. Um, and we've got this lovely little lady who we'll keep. Um, yeah, okay, release the wild. Sure, there we go. I don't think that released all of them, though, of the ones we selected. And we've got some springbok. We actually only have two springbok, so hopefully they mate, and that's fine. I'm gonna put all the young gazelles on... Let's put them all on contraception, actually. And then we'll keep an eye on the spring box. These guys are on contraception. What about you guys? Um, the two parents will be the old ones. Oh, there's only one old one, what? Put all the youngsters on contraception, maybe? Okay, I think that's fine. Why are you hungry? Ah, uh, do you know what it is? When there is too much enrichment, these animals do not get fed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete some of their things because they don't need like loads and loads of enrichment. And then hopefully they get food now. Perfect, cool. Uh, what are our challenges? Oh, amazing. Okay, so we increase the average exhibit species overall welfare to 66%. It's at 94%, which is kind of amazing. So let's claim that reward. Uh, we have some other zoo challenges to adopt habitat species. 
um, two more and to release one red rough to lemur to the world which we should be able to do soon which is very good you guys are really hungry i know we're getting a keeper and i swear also i did notice a guest saying that apparently the amount of plants isn't good for the spring box if i find a spring box hello you're a spring box hello no you're a gazelle i forget we only have two spring box um spring box question mark yes hello oh there we go look you get food that looks interesting sure tasty i guess uh right you're hungry you're gonna get stuff yeah so their plant coverage is just about adequate like it's it's borderline so i am gonna get rid of one tree i think and hopefully it makes a difference can i have a look it'll work is is that oh it's 28 percent now so i'm gonna leave this just because i didn't like how close it was to the maximum amount of plants they liked but more vet research nice uh let's have a look if we have unlocked any more enrichment we also were researching the red rough lemurs before so let me have a look and see if there's any more enrichment that we haven't already given them i mean they already have like i think this was one of the new ones we just researched right i think so um they already have a lot of enrichment oh I, this reminds me we're also gonna have to fix the barriers for these guys as well should we do that now? Are we going to do the exact same style? I quite like it being all glass for the, um, the lemurs though. It looks kind of pretty because it's such a beautiful tropical habitat. Um, so I am tempted to leave it for now. Maybe we leave it for now. Um, to finish off, should we change these? Like I know, I know the shells for these um, we wanted to make similar. So let's just do that. Oh, no, we can get that. Okay. Don't worry. Don't mind us. We're just getting rid of the whole loony balloon shell. Everyone at the shop is probably hella confused, but it's fine. Oh my God, a VIP guest has arrived at the zoo. Oh my God, it's fabulous pretzel. I don't know who you are. Hello. Hello. You're super fabulous. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the conservation credits. <laughs> right, let me uh, um, duplicate some stuff and we are going to make this look a lot prettier. So, actually I won't duplicate it, I'm just gonna filter. Architecture, walls, and for the Africa ones, I don't know how we did it. I think we can just do it with these. Probably a good idea, like this. Yeah, that looks giant actually that better i think that's the same one good cool and then i'm gonna actually favorite these so that we know these are the ones we use there you go favorite that as well i like never favorite things so i'm really proud of myself for using <laughs> the favorite function for once oh geez okay that's a bit too much um right put that in there beautiful uh then on top we have the thatched roofing which is fine if we go to roofs um i'm gonna put this on top first i think oh i'm not sure if we did that with the others though so never mind we're changing it and then for these we use the really tall ones which are these so i'm gonna fade for that and then we also put these beautiful trimmings on which we didn't use this one for we use like a smaller one is it this no it's not this is it no it's not this God damn it i can't i can't tell is it was it this i think it was no that looks so like long compared i'm very confused i am startled that ain't it that ain't it what is this i mean i could just duplicate it i could oh it's this okay i found it <laughs> we got there eventually i'm glad okay good uh and we also have one back here which is kind of cool. Um, cool, very nice. And then I'm gonna move these. I'm actually gonna delete these actually, screw that. Deleting, I'm gonna put them in again, but we have some signs. So this is a loony balloons. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of that, type in loony, and then we need to go to all. So that's giant, so we're not gonna put that in. And then these, We've been putting on the edge here which i think looks really really cool and then on the back we have i don't know which one should we use that's just like a plain old sign 
Um, I guess we could do that. Oh God, we put it on every side. It's a little bit much. Uh, I'm just gonna put one on the back. Let's just do that, I think. Because that is a lot. Oh, and we put doors on the level of detail. I'm actually surprised at myself. Like what? <laughs> what? Um, well, I guess we're moving that to the side then, the logo. So we'll move this along. It sits over here. Beautiful. Um, oh. There we go. Gorgeous. I don't think that's sitting in the right place, but it's fine. And then we're going to have this and then we'll be get it here. There we go. Our loony balloons. It's looking a lot better. Got that. Okay. I'm going to put this on properly. <laughs> it actually looks appalling. It looks so bad. Okay. Um, nope. Aha. There we go. So, oh my goodness. What is going on? Oh, I've made it part of a scenery piece, which it is not meant to. Um, split some groom. There we go. Now we can do it. So if we push it in a little bit, and then because this is an uneven uh, piece of like scenery, it's going to be quite hard to do this. Maybe we just move it over here. Oh no, this is a mess. There we go. That's perfect. That's exactly where I wanted it to be. <laughs> uh, but there we go. The loony balloons looks better. Amazing. We also need to do the information center. Do I have, uh, you know what? I'm going to do it today. Why not? I'm going crazy. I don't, I don't know what is gotten into me. I just, oh, okay. I got rid of the whole information center. That was, I did it again. Okay. This is not what I meant to do. Um, it's fine though. Because no! <laughs> Why am I like this? I literally can't help myself, I don't think. This is hilarious. Right. Okay. Take two. Everything's fine. Oh, if we turn these inwards, they're... So these are smooth on the inside. And rough on the outside in terms of the, like, evenness of the surface. But I think I like it kind of rough. It, it looks cool. It adds texture. So I'm not going to change that. What about that? Wow. Now I'm confused. Now I'm really confused. Because that looks so much different to how I've done these. Do you see what I mean? Like this is the wrong way, isn't it? <gasps> Plot twist. Okay. It's fine though, because look, we can change it. See? This looks so much better. Wow. Did I do the same? Oh, I've done it so wrong on all the others. Trust me. There we go. That's in the right place. This is even, which means these are all wrong. Oh my goodness. Trust me to do all of this completely wrong. <laughs> no wonder these doors fit on nicely. I've done it wrong. Okay, it's fine. We can make these amendments. I'm glad I've noticed now. Okay, so these are meant to be kind of rough looking on the outside. Fit. Now it is. <gasps> Interesting. Did I do it correct over here? No, I didn't. <gasps> How didn't I notice this? I guess, like, unless you don't, if, unless you pay attention to the detail, you wouldn't. But I am shook. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've actually done it wrong. Everywhere. That one's right. This one ain't. <laughs> gonna have to pay a lot more um attention now when i'm building these because i did not realize that i could make such a mistake no one would have noticed but i noticed so i guess that matters cool oh, i've done it here as well oh my goodness watch when a lot of you are watching this and that you're just, <laughs> you're just like i have no idea what she means um This is revolutionary. This is actually revolutionary. Also, this doesn't look right now. Is it because I can see the shadow? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, cool. No, that is just all kinds of wrong. Jeez. Come on, Charlotte. Get it right. There we go. Beautiful. Cool. Wait, what? Have I done this wrong? No, I haven't. Okay, now I'm confused. Now I'm really confused. <laughs> I thought I fixed this one. Or maybe I didn't. Okay, I hadn't. I hadn't. <gasps> what is happening? 
I'm so confused. Like, the more I, I mive with this, the less it's looking normal. That's fine. Oh, I've done... I've done these bits wrong. They're like the wrong height. What the heck in heck? Right. Starting fresh, everything's fine. Con contrary to popular belief, everything is fine. Right, that's correct. Perfect. And that's correct. Amazing. Okay, good, good, good. Cool, we're fine which means these doors are now officially broken which is always fun but we can fix them okay and now <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of the doors i think and then at a later date we can fix the doors because it's just kind of a mess even these float now oh my gosh these are gonna take a lot more fixing i think um but i mean as I'm saying at the moment, at a later date, meaning the next episode, I will fix this uh, because I feel like oh, I could even do this like off camera to be fair, because this is super meticulous and kind of boring. I don't know. What do you guys think of, do let me know if you prefer like the building aspects of these, the gameplay, do you want a mixture, any like pedantic building like this, do you want to see, or should I do it off camera? Because I think for now these look okay. You know, uh, it's just consistency, isn't it? It's just consistency I need to work on. Uh, but we'll put the roof on this. Make sure we do that. Oh, so make sure we put it on the right group. And then there was a roof that I definitely got rid of. God damn it. Uh, ba -ba -ba, theme, African, please. Hello. Okay, cool. Uh, roof. Where was it? Was it this one? <laughs> After all that, it took us so long to figure out which one it was. And then I've lost it. I think it's this one. Okay. So we put it there. Is that it? That does not look like that was the right one. I am ultra confused at this point. But it looks the same. Ish. Ish? Like that. Okay, that's it. I found it. I figured it out. gonna rotate it and then we're gonna do the same over here beautiful and then that fits a little bit more even though this is rounded and then these actual blinds areas aren't rounded so it looks a little bit weird i'm not gonna lie but we can get information center stuff and we can put it on here do we want it up here maybe kind of looks cool i know it's floating but we can fix that Okay, and we can fix this one as well. Beautiful. And then, on the sides of the building, we can have these. Ah, there's one already over here. Perfect. Okay, this is looking a lot better. I'm liking it, I'm enjoying it. Let's see. Open for business. Excuse me, ma'am? Ma'am, can you go back? Oh, did we do something? Oh, amazing, we bred a new habitat animal another reward i think we are smashing it with the rewards at the moment i am so proud of us and i hope fabulous pretzel enjoys our wonderful zoo look at you vip come through i hope you're enjoying yourself you look very happy to be here actually we love to see it right oh dear okay we're gonna have to fix that next time <laughs> Right, so I think that is pretty much it for today's video on our lovely Maasai franchise zoo. I think it's going pretty well. I'm really happy with these little changes we're making to barriers and stuff to make it look better. I am going to try and go in with like more nature stuff around the paths to make it look a little bit more blended. So we're going to work on the uh, natural decoration of the zoo next time. We are going to work on our red rough lemur habitat. And then maybe we could create a whole new habitat, maybe next time. Because I mean, we have $72,000. So we have enough money, I think, to start up a new exhibit or a new habitat rather, and then maybe generate more money, which is exciting. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at our overview. So ticket prices we got to put up today which is really good guest happiness isn't amazing it definitely needs some improvement but the average animal welfare is amazing staff happiness is almost perfect um and our general ratings are decent marketing is still really bad because we haven't done any uh but education's actually better than i thought it was so that's good 
The zoo feels pretty small, so I mean, adding a new habitat is probably going to help with that problem. No crime at the moment. And we are making profits. Not a lot of profit, not going to lie. It used to be a lot more. So we need to work on that, but we can do that in the next video. Cool. I'm really excited about this series, actually. I'm really enjoying it. And hopefully we can get this zoo looking a lot better because... It's a bit interesting. We also still haven't done anything with the central area. I'm thinking like a giant statue of a giraffe if I could make one, who knows? Matty actually did make one. Uh, for those of you who don't know Matty, frantic on YouTube. Um, he made me this. <laughs> it's called a giraffe. I can't even place it apparently. I haven't unlocked it in franchise mode or something. I don't even know. Uh, but that's about it for this video. If you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see on this channel and how you're finding the series. What would you like to be added to the zoo? Maybe if everyone puts in the comments um, your next animal suggestion. Hopefully they're not too expensive. Uh, but you can always look up on Planet Zoo what animals we have. I have every pack other than the Australian one. So feel free to put your suggestions in the comments. Also feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for videos every Saturday and that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!